It almost feels like a challenge, an experiment to see how many children can fit into one classroom. They are crammed into every corner, every nook, each desk occupied by three or four pupils. Comfort isn't a consideration here. All that matters is that the pupils are in the classroom learning. Welcome to Mwiki Primary School in Kiambu County. Student population 3,300 crammed into 31 classrooms, built on a plot of land which measures 86 by 84 meters. A notice at the gate warns that there is no room for lazy pupils. Everyone else, it seems, can find admission here. The numbers translate on average of about 100 pupils per class, but the numbers vary from class to class. This standard two class has over 200 pupils, while the special class for children with disabilities has 72 children, all hungry for the knowledge that the teachers will impart. Yet though they are willing to learn, it is a tight squeeze, one that makes even finding space to scribble down notes a struggle. Mwiki Primary School is a public school which serves a thicker road area. The high population means otherwise adequate facilities are run down and cannot meet the needs of pupils. Kwa sasa tuko na upungufu wa madarasa 37. Yes. There are 66 teachers and just 22 toilets for the teachers, other members of staff and students of both genders and there's hardly enough room for a playground. It is not an ideal situation. According to the basic education regulations of 2015, a moderately sized primary school classroom should hold no more than 50 pupils. While the international standard ratio of teachers to pupils is one teacher for every 40 pupils. The numbers are not without effect on the school performance. In 2017, the top student at the school scored 404 marks out of 500 in the Kenya Certificate of Primary Examinations and landed a coveted spot at a national school together with 19 others from this school. However, looking at the bigger picture, the 594 pupils who sat the exam at this school on only managed a mean score of 252, just barely passing the halfway mark. Questions abound as to why the school has such a large population, given that other public schools in the area could help ease the pressure. I can assure you that as a ministry, we are aware. Last year we visited the school with the cabinet secretary and we committed ourselves that this financial year, which the financial year we are starting 1819, that we are going to put in some resources to expand the facilities mainly the sanitary facilities and also some classrooms, but also to improve on the schools around Mwiki so that we can be able to distribute these students. Yet despite all these challenges, every morning over 3,000 pupils turn up at Mwiki Primary School ready to jump over huddles and holes in the floor to learn, hoping that what they learn here will open doors, leading them out of this congested environment and into a world of success. Wilkisanyabo Citizen Weekend.